Hey y'all, welcome back. It's Natalie Higby here. And hey, Christian. We are excited for you guys to join us here on week two, day one of our at-home body weight program. Today we have an upper body workout, but we also have some new skill work for you guys. This skill work is great for all ages. It's really going to challenge your body control and mobility mm -hmm. in some ground-based movement. Yeah. Cool. So now we're going into our warm-up. Today's warm-up, we're actually going to start using the basketball, but if you don't have a basketball at home, you can use any object or you can use your imagination. Now, these first few moves are going to kind of loosen us up. We're going to challenge our hip mobility. We'll challenge our coordination and our balance. Mm -hmm. So this first one, I'll come right here, is just going to be a traveling one. Now, if you don't have enough space, no big deal. You can do this in place for as long as we move. So again, if you have the space, move with us. If you don't, just go through the movement in place. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yes, ma'am. All right, so for this one, what we're doing is staying tall, bringing the knee up towards the chest, and just letting that ball come right in between our legs, passing it through with the hand. I'll let you lead as we go back. Beautiful. Good. Again, and just a forward travel. The single leg stability, getting these arms moving, getting these hips to work, keeping that core nice and tight. Then we'll go backwards on these next two. So again, I'm gonna step back now, come under. Yeah. And now we're just challenging, yeah, moving backwards. Whew. Make sure, yep, you see where you're going. Beautiful job, and then I'll let you lead on the way back. Nice work. Especially hard in trying to keep my eyes up and not looking down. So mm -hmm. something you can challenge yourself with too. Good. We like to find fun ways to warm us up. So I know already I'm feeling a little toasty, getting the heart rate up a little bit. There we go. Excellent job. Now, next two, as we travel here, we're going to stay low. Okay, so this time we're going to come down here. We'll step forward. Now you can see my belly is close to my thigh. And again, I'll step forward. So now I'm staying low, maybe allowing those legs to burn a little bit more, challenging the ankles and the knees here. Beautiful. We'll move it on back. Good, continue to breathe. Of course, you can always challenge your pace. You can go faster or slower, totally up to you. Awesome, now let's go backwards, okay? So we'll step back, right here, step back. Make sure I have my space. Ooh, nice job, nice job. And then I'll let you lead one more time, y'all. Are you feeling warm? Feeling warm, for <laughs> sure. Good. Oh yeah, legs are feeling it. Ooh, my brain is working. Yeah. I feel my brain working a lot right now. We gotta think about this one, right? There we yep. go. Awesome. Perfect. One more. Beautiful. Good work, you guys. We can set our ball down. We'll get into a little bit of our joint mobility here to prep us for what's coming. So I'll have Christian just turn to the side. I want you guys to lift your chin up towards the ceiling, get a nice proud chest, and then tuck your chin to your chest. Roll those shoulders forward. Allow this spine to round out as your fingers just make their way down to the ground like a forward fold. At the bottom, we'll push those knees forward, push the hips forward, roll and round on up. Let's do two more, so three total here. Just let your head hang heavy at the bottom. Continue to breathe. Nice job, one more. Let's tuck and roll. And then push those knees forward, push those hips forward, stand tall. Excellent job. Next up, we have arms through. So we're hitting the shoulders a little bit here. Take the hands out to the side. We're going to turn the shoulder internally here. So just rotating and reaching, and then coming back to the center. Good, that's one. Keep moving. Two, we have 10 total. Three, again, we're working the shoulders, trying to turn as much as we can here. Let's reach through those fingertips. Try to keep the fingers up or the hands up at shoulder height. It's perfectly okay to allow your hips to move right to left here. Get that lower body involved as well. Beautiful job, good. Shake that off. Next up, we have some wrist rotation. Since we will be doing some groundwork, it's important that we warm up the wrist here. So let's just go hands out in front. Let's make a fist. So go ahead and yeah, bring those fingers in. Now let's drop our wrist down towards the ground and then bring the outer portion of the wrist to the side wall. There you go. And then the top of the wrist up towards the ceiling and then the inside
side of the wrist together. So now you can see Christian's just going to smooth out that motion. Again, these are small, very subtle wrist circles. Beautiful job. Keep moving for three, two, one, switch directions. Now we go inside of the wrist together, wrist up, out, and down. There we go. Now you can see his elbows are kind of staying in the same spot here. Again, very small and subtle wrist circles. Awesome. Good. From there, I just want you to roll them out a little bit bigger now. Let's go five circles in each direction. Just be really intentional with these. <sighs> Try to find those end ranges. Again, just five one way, five the other. Keep moving with us. Nice job. Awesome work. Beautiful. Now, we want to move down to the hips, the ankles, and the knees a little bit more. This one is our Tootsie Roll drill. Okay, so we'll go feet, there you go, about hip width apart, hands on the knees, or if you need to hang on to something around you, hold on to something for some balance. Beautiful. On this one, we're going to shift our weight back to our heels, so allow your toes to come off the ground. Then let's move to the outside edges of our feet, so we're kind of loading up the ankles here. And then we come to the balls of the feet, lifting the heels high. You'll see our knees push forward. There you go. Then we go to the inside edges of the feet, allowing the knees to come in, and then back to the heels. Good. That's one. Let's keep moving. Let's get five in each direction. This is two. It's almost like a dance move, right? <laughs> this is like a dance move. Three. Now, if you're feeling good, again, you can go hands on the knees. That's four. One more in this direction. And five. And let's switch it. So now we go inside. Up to the balls of the feet, outside edges, and the heels. Now you'll see we're going no hands. Just challenge yourself if you can. How far can you go in each direction? Beautiful. Two more. Good. Last one. Excellent job. Let's shake that off. We'll stand tall here. We'll just rotate a little bit for the spine. So let's reach directly behind us. Letting this come from the ankles and the knees too. So the lower body shifts, the hips move, and then you'll see the upper body moves as well. Now keep your eyes following your fingertips. Continue to breathe and try to stay tall to the top of your head. Good. Let's go for another four, three, two, one. Nicely done. Now I want you to rotate over your toes and allow your arms to swing around your body. Good. Two. Keep going. Three. Just kind of like you're hugging yourself. Again, we're turning the toes. Working on this pivot here. Turning from the toes, knees, and hips. Good. Let's go for another three, two, one. Excellent job. Let's get into our high knees, our butt kicks, and our Frankenstein kicks here, okay? Now, starting with high knees. Join us here, y'all. We're going in three, two, one. Here we go. So again, we're thinking fast feet. Stay tall. Get those knees high. Come on. Great job, y'all. Keep breathing. Keep breathing as you move. Last halfway. Nice work. Last ten. There you go. Get your mind right, guys. Tune in and get your mind right. Three, two, one. Good work. Good work. Okay. Bringing those heels to our bottom here. Three, two, one. Butt kicks. Let's go. Hopefully you guys are feeling pretty warm. We're getting close to that skill work of the day. I'm excited today. Oh, yeah. We got a new little flair for you guys today. Super excited. Hope you guys can encompass the challenge. Ten seconds left. Keep your feet moving. You got this. Five. Four. One, good job. Frankenstein kicks. Yep. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Ooh, man. If you're someone who plays a lot of basketball, which I'm sure for a lot of you guys that are watching, mm -hmm. your hamstrings might feel a little tight sometimes. This right here is a great way to kind of help combat that, mm -hmm. right? Awesome. I can feel it big time in my hamstrings right here. I love this one. I one was going to say, me too. Yeah. I need this one. Let's keep it up for another 10 seconds, y'all. Almost done. Hopefully feeling like you can start to kick a little bit higher these days. Yep. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. Awesome work. Now, 
Awesome job back at home, guys. Now, here's what we got coming up next, okay? Natalie's gonna be moving here the whole time, so if you ever get lost, just find Natalie on the screen and she'll be moving through with you guys, okay? Our skill of the day is a new movement for y'all, for the majority of y'all. Some of y'all might know this movement already. The game of basketball, though, is all about rotation and us being able to cross over, us being able to switch up sides if the ball is on our body and being able to manipulate our body comes through us being able to control rotation. So that's what we're gonna do here today. We're gonna go onto the ground. Okay, we're gonna try out the movement slow and then we'll kind of show you over time how we can make this a little bit more challenging. So Nat is gonna start on her hands, knees, and toes. So our hands are under our shoulders, knees under hips, toes onto the ground. From here, we're just gonna lift our hips and our body just enough off the ground to kind of slide like a piece of paper under your knees. Now, from here, guys, we're gonna step our right foot to the side of the room. Now, you can see here, I'm gonna have Nat kind of face the side. There is a little bit of space here in between Natalie's hand and foot, enough space for your back knee to come on in. From there, Nat's gonna go ahead and bring her back leg in to where her ankle is meeting her opposite ankle. So the ankles are together, okay? Nat is actively pressing into the ground. Her chest is looking down as her knees are pulling apart from each other. From there, she's gonna come back to that middle position in our beast. Again, knees under the hips, toes onto the ground. From there, she's gonna face her left foot towards the left side of the room, and then she's gonna bring her right leg and hook it right behind her ankle. And again, try this out at home. If you're watching right now, just so you can feel what we're going through here. Okay, Nat's gonna come back to the middle. She's just gonna put her knees down for a second. So what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna go through this movement here together. We're gonna hold for about five seconds. Now I want to, uh, so to clarify one more thing. Natalie, when she's doing her knee through, she had both hands on the ground. But if that's super challenging because we're a little tight through here, whatever side you're twisting to, Natalie is now just taking off that hand off the ground. That's a little bit easier, okay? So for the first round, we're gonna do it like that. Everyone together, we're gonna hold five seconds on each side. Sound good, y'all? Follow with Natalie and I'll keep coaching, okay? Let's go ahead and start up here. We'll get our knees off the ground and then let's go on our right side first. Three, two, one, and go ahead. We'll hook the ankle to ankle and pick up the hand. Five, four, three, two, and then we're going to come back to the middle and then we'll do the same deal next side. Again, foot goes flat. Nat's hooking the ankles, pushing the ankles into each other. Three, two, one, and then next side. Again, perfect. Natalie's gonna go one foot flat, ankle to ankle, pressing through her arm, and switch up sides. Great job, guys, almost there. Again, we're holding for five seconds, twisting, locking the ankles, driving the ground away. Two, one, and then we'll go one more time here, guys, on each side again, twist. Natalie's pushing ankle to ankle, driving the ground away, and then last time here on the opposite side, Natalie's gonna twist, She's gonna hook the ankles in. She's driving her knees apart as she presses the ground. Great job, everybody. Take a second to breathe. Shake that off real quick. Awesome work. Now, if that was easy, Natalie's gonna show you how for these last two rounds, how we can make it a little bit more challenging, keeping both our hands on the ground the whole time, okay? Three, two, one, and let's get into it, guys. Hands are on the ground, pushing ankle to ankle. Knees are dropping apart, and then we'll go next side. And again, you might not be able to hear from here, but Natalie's breathing, breathing into her rib cage, and switch up sides. Beautiful. Again, we'll hold for five, four, three, two, and then switch up sides. So guys, the chest is staying really stable towards the ground facing as the hips are doing all the turns. Two, one, and shake that off, everybody. Shake that off. We got one more round just like this. Again, all the rotation that's happening within the game, us being able to open up our hips and move laterally in all different directions, this is a huge drill that's going to help with those muscles, okay? We'll go last one here, last round. We'll go knee through here again. Three, two, one, and we're going to twist the foot and hook the ankle in. There you go again. Nat's got her hand on the ground. You guys can lift it. That's okay. And next side. Beautiful. Here we go, twisting, hooking the ankle to ankle, pressing the ground away, two, one, and then opposite side. Again, foot is flat, ankle to ankle, knees apart, and next side. Great job, Natalie, we're almost there, everybody. Continue to breathe. Push your foot down, drive the ankles into each other. Two, one, perfect, Natalie, perfect at home. Shake that off. How are you feeling, Nat? 
Shoulders are burning a little bit. Hips are feeling good yes. though from the rotation. Yes. Spine feels good. Yeah, I yes. love that one. Awesome. And again, hopefully parents, you guys are following along, along at home. That is a great drill and a challenge, challenging drill. And I would challenge you guys to try that one out. Now, we're gonna get into the workout of the day, okay? And like we did in the first week, our every minute on the minute is coming up. So that means we have three movements, and we're trying to go through those three movements as quick as we can inside each minute, okay? Remember, our goal is to have about 40 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest before our next round. Now, let's go ahead and come on down to the ground, okay? And again, there's always three different levels, right? Our rookie, our all-star, and our MVP. The first move we have today is our knee through. So I'm gonna have Matt demonstrate and you guys try this out. Even though we just did some, our rookies, okay, are gonna get three times on each side within the minute, okay? Our all-star would have four on each side and my MVPs are trying to get five quick reps on each side before we go into the next movement. Can they keep their hands down or lift the hand? Yes, whatever is more challenging, wherever you feel like your body is. Again, Natalie was doing it with both her hands down, or she was also doing it without a hand. You guys figure out which one is better for you today, and we can always improve on that, mm -hmm. okay? Cool. Now, the second movement we have is our downward dog into a push-up, okay? Now, again, four to five reps, rookie, okay? Six to seven, all-star, and then anything eight, nine, and above, is my MVP level. Downward dog here, arms locked out. She's gonna pull her shoulders forward, so now we're in a plank, push up from there, that's one rep. She's gonna go back, downward dog, pull back forward, push up, that's two. Again, four to five, six to seven, and then anything eight and above, that's MVP, okay? If you need to, as a regression, okay, if going up and coming forward is too hard, you can always press your hips back, and then go forward into a push-up mat, if you don't mind. Boom, look, her knees are on the ground the whole time. She pushes back, and then from pushing back, she's gonna pull forward and do a push-up. So there's different levels, okay? Last thing we have is our mobile table top, okay? Now again, four reps total will be for my rookies, five, four, my all-stars, and then anything above six, okay, is gonna be for my MVPs here. Nat's hands are flat, facing the side. Both her feet stay flat as she pops her hip on up. Beautiful, awesome work now. Again, hips touch the ground, hips come on up. If your hips can't come up as high as Natalie's, don't worry about that, we're gonna get better with time, okay? Knee throughs, downward dog to push-ups, mobile table tops. We're gonna go through these three movements, guys, as quick as we can, okay? First thing we have is our knee throughs. Again, three or four or five on each round, depending on your level. Three, two, one, and let's go. I'm gonna work at the rookie level so that I can still cue and talk to you guys. Natalie might be working at a completely different level, and that's okay. You guys find out where you're at. Downward dog, push up. Downward dog, push up. Downward dog, again, I'm gonna get four here at a rookie level. And perfect, and then after I get four, I'm gonna go to my mobile tabletop. And I'm gonna stay again at the rookie level. I'm gonna stay at four, but you guys can be getting as many reps as you guys need. One, two, three, four. Awesome, awesome work, everybody. That took me about 35 seconds, so that's good. I might maybe do like one more rep somewhere to maybe get a little bit more work before my next round. Great job. Mm -hmm. We got round two coming up, guys, here in 10 seconds, okay? 10 seconds here. Here we go. In five, four, three, two. Now I'm going to go all-star. So I'm going to go four on each side right here, picking up my hand. <sighs> Breathing through, guys, moving at your own pace. And then again here, I'm going to get five reps now. I'll get five push-ups here. Hamstring, chest, there you go. Feel the hamstrings, finish with the push-up. Awesome work, everybody. And I'm gonna get five. I'm gonna try to keep this here at the all-star level all the way around. Four, five. I will say this to you guys, if you're at home and maybe this one is bugging you, you can also come down to the ground mm -hmm. and go from a hip bridge, right? That, yep. That's always a good modification. Guys, 15 seconds, we got round three coming on up. 
Now, you guys can also stay at the same level the whole time, mm -hmm. or if you need to, back it down. Yep. If you feel like you've got more energy for the next one, yep. bring it back up. Here we go, guys. Four, three, two, one. Exactly what Natalie said. If you feel like one round, you're going to try for the MVP, then try it. Try to challenge yourself, right? Try to see if you can move through. And maybe some round, you just don't have it in the gas tank. And that's okay. But building that awareness so that you guys can recognize, okay, do I have it right now? Or am I asking for something that maybe my body isn't ready for today? That awareness, that's next level stuff right there. That's building a resilient mind and a body. Great job, Matt. Me too. Feeling good in my shoulders, mm -hmm. feeling good in my hips. Awesome job. Guys, that was 40 seconds. We got 20 seconds of rest. Awesome job. How are you feeling so far, Nat? My arms are feeling tired already, but I'm feeling good. Oh, yeah. I like these moves. I'm excited. 10 seconds. Do my best. There you go. And again, shaking out the arms when necessary helps out big time, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, I'm going to do a little jump in between now. So I'm going to try to speed up my rep by jumping to one side. You can see Nat is doing more of the pivoting, right? She's pivoting her foot on the ground where I might hop and a little jump from side to side, okay? Just, again, another variation you guys can try out. I'm doing a lot of talking. I'm going to get to that rookie level just to make sure I can do this within a round. I'm going to modify these reps a little bit. Yep. Try to come back strong next round. Awesome. I love that awareness, Nat. Great job. Perfect, guys. Awesome work. That was 40 seconds right there. 20 seconds to that next round. Good job. Great job, Nat. That was round four. We got round five coming. Sweet. We have 12 total, right? 12 total rounds, 12 total minutes, everybody. We're almost there. Five seconds right here. In four, three, two, one, and here we go. I'm going to try to not talk a lot this round. I'm going to try to get to the MVP level, which is five on each side. And after that, I got to get nine reps here of my push-ups. I got to keep breathing. I cannot keep doing this without my breath. Nice job. Awesome work. Awesome work. Keep it up, y'all. Keep moving. Keep breathing. Again, shake out those arms. When you're done, finish out this round. We'll get ready for the next. Nice. Where are we at right now with time, Matt? We're at 45 right Ooh, now. Ooh, man. So that would be tough to try to do for 12 minutes. I think some of y'all can do that, though. For me, <laughs> whew, I try to say I'm a little too old, but I'm never too old. <laughs> Five seconds here, guys. Four, round six, three, two, one, and here we go. Now, again, we want to challenge ourselves. We want to challenge our family members, our friends here on these. We also want to have fun. So can we be serious? Can we challenge each other? But can we smile and laugh? Yep. Movement should be fun. Getting better is fun, right? Yeah. I think it's a good thing to get better every day. Challenging yourself every day. Woo! I love it. Oh, man. These upper body bodies. I love it. And I'm going to pull up right here at the all-star level. So again, like Nat said in the very beginning, I might do a couple movements at rookie and then realize I got more time. So I'm going to do the next one maybe at a higher level, mm -hmm. right? Maybe getting more reps. Great job. 10 seconds. Round seven. We're already halfway through it, everybody. Almost home. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Now for me, I'm going to try to keep my hands down and really try to drive my ankle into my ankle, making sure I have enough space so my hand and my knee aren't close together. They're a little further away so I have some space. We always want quality reps over quantity. So again, we want to push that pace. We want to make sure our reps are strong, solid reps each time. Don't cheat yourself, you guys. Come on. Here we go, guys. Keep it up, just like Nat said. There you go. Keep breathing out. We're almost there, girl. Finishing round seven, everybody. Finishing round seven. Woo! Nice a little job. bit later this time. 
We got about 10 seconds. Man, we cut that one close, but that's okay. We can do that a couple rounds, okay? Five, almost there, guys, four. Round eight, three, two, one. And guys, of course, there's never anything wrong with having to take a break. If you're somewhere at home, a little too intense, you got a couple options. Let the video keep going, and then you just go take a rest. Take one round off, take two rounds off if you need it. Or always pause the video and then come back. We're gonna be here. We're not gonna go anywhere. We literally spend all day in our living room. We'll be here the whole time, I promise. Working out like this all day. This is all we do, and eat, of course. Nice job. Sweet. Good work. Perfect. There you go. Man, I struggle with burning. Guys, 20 seconds. We got round nine coming up. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Four more rounds. Here we go, guys. Almost there. Take a nice inhale. Slowly exhale. One more time. Oh, yeah. Five, four, three. Here we go. Two, one. Round nine, everybody. We only got 12 today. Here we go. Sorry, what level am I working at? Yeah. I'm working at just staying alive. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, I'm working right now at that first level. I went to the rookie, but then I went up to an all-star right there at that one. And now I'm going to try to get nine reps right here. Two, okay, three, let's go. four, five, six, oh man, seven. Guys, we're burning with you. Eight, and I'm Come feeling on. this. Me we're too. feeling this with you. Woo, good I job. Should. Awesome work, guys. Three more rounds, we're almost there. And who knows, we might even give you all a surprise like last time, if people remember how we finished off Ooh. last week. And if you weren't with us last week, you should go back and watch. <laughs> Five, four, three, round 10, two, one. Here we go, Nat. Come on. Stay moving, stay breathing. Control your breath, control your body, you guys. I've got this. Come on. Let's get stronger today. Nice. Life is all about how we react to adversity, right? This workout is some sort of adversity. So how are we going to react to it? Are we going to encounter it for what it is? Ooh, are we going to second guess it? Ooh. Great job, everybody. Here we go. Continue to breathe. Continue to move. I'm going to get two more. Listening to my body. Woo! Glutes, hips, shoulders, everything's feeling it. We got round 11 right here, right? Round 11. Round 11, guys, we are almost home. And right after you finish round 11, right after we do it, I'm gonna show you what the surprise is for our last two rounds. Oh. Round 11, here, right. five, four, three, two, That's one, good. here we go. Now, what you were just talking about reminds me of how the only things we can really control are our attitude, right, and our effort. So no matter how you're feeling today, we want you to keep the attitude positive. We want you to keep that effort high. Yep, I love it. Great point, Natalie. Amazing point. I like when Natalie talks because then I get to <laughs> beat her and get a better score maybe, who knows? Sometimes she catches up though. Awesome job. Okay, I just finished up round 11. If you just did, Here's your surprise for the day. We're gonna go right into round 12. Woo! So we're not waiting for any rest. Get right back into it, guys. Finish it Challenge up. yourself. Keep breathing. Nice, final and, push. Yep, it's okay if you gotta go to rookie. If you're really tired, that's all right. Just try to find a way for you to keep moving and challenging yourself with your breath and with your movement, guys. Here we go. Get your mind right so that your body will be at a better level than it was yesterday. Almost home, guys. Keep breathing. One, two, three. I'm almost home, guys. Hopefully, you guys are too. Woo and perfect. My goodness. Woo. Awesome work, everybody. You guys, oh, I'm going to help you up. Okay. <laughs> Give your friend the help. Awesome job, everybody. That is the workout right there. Now it is going to take you to the decompression. All we're going to do, guys, a couple stretches and just really focusing in on our breath. So tune in with that, okay? The workout is not done yet. 
All right, y'all, so just like the warm-up is super important for optimizing our workout, decompression is super important for optimizing our health and longevity so that we can come back tomorrow and get after it. So let's do a couple of things. Let's breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. And let's stretch. Continue to breathe nice and slow as we interlock our fingers behind our back. Pull those shoulders back and down. Take three inhales, three exhales. Again. Pushing those knuckles down towards the ground. Pulling those shoulders away from your ears. One more time. Excellent job. Let's take our hand behind our back. Grab for our elbow. Let's breathe. Inhale through the nose. Pull that hand back a little bit more. Two more. Last one. Awesome job, other side, grab that elbow, reach that hand back, inhale, two, last one, awesome job, and then let's bring our hand across, inhale here, pull the shoulder down, good, two more breaths, last one, Final stretch, opposite arm comes across, we hook it right here, again pull this shoulder down. By now you should be feeling like your heart rate is down, once again you're able to breathe and talk a little bit better. One more breath y'all. Shake out your arms, give your neighbor, your partner a high five, fist bump, good job, pat yourself on the back. We hope you guys enjoyed today's workout, we're going to leave you here with our journal prompt for the day. So today is reflecting on something you're really good at and then something that you need to work on. So I want you to write down what is your biggest strength. This can be in any area of your life. Maybe you have multiple journal entries for different areas like on the court and off the court. But you've got your biggest strength and then what is an area of weakness or an area where you can improve on. All right, jot that down, share it out. We hope you guys have an excellent day. We'll see you tomorrow.